Hey guys, welcome to Confessions from the Corolla. <laughs> I'm actually driving my husband's car today, so, um, because he was parked behind me. So, it was just easier to grab his car. Um, so I thought I would come to you because I haven't done a Confessions, uh, video in a little while because I used to do them when I would pick up my little one from school um, however she now rides the bus this year so um, there you go um, and then I have been on medical leave for the last two weeks I think it's been so far um, so I had some surgery done and um, I have literally been recovering ever since, so I'm um, getting better and better. I uh, still am having um, just some pain and things like that, so I'm not yet ready to return to work. Um, probably will be next week. So, um, normally I do not do a video and drive, uh, but my husband has the setup, so take what you can get. Um, it's either that or it's me dancing in the car, so. <laughs> now maybe the rest of the world won't think I'm absolutely insane when I'm driving. They probably still will. It's fine. I own my insane and I own my crazy. And as long as you do that, you're fine. Who cares? So, um, let's talk about, here's my confessions from the Corolla this week. Um... So, since I have been on medical leave, obviously I'm not completely up to 100% where I would be. Um, my husband has been a huge, absolutely huge asset to me through all of this because he's been the one um, running all the errands. He's been the one going to the store. He's actually gone to the post office for me. <laughs> Um, you know, those are things that, uh, I haven't yet been able to do. I'm truly not supposed to be running around today, um, but I just have a quick errand that I absolutely have to run. So, um, to take a little bit of stress off of my husband, I'm kind of trying to do it for him. But because of all of that, I have been, um, been, I don't want to say that I've been limited because I really haven't. Um, I've been able to still continue to work my business. However, I mean, this is my confession video, right? I don't feel that I've necessarily worked it probably as much as I could have. And I am not the excuse person. I don't want to sit here and give any excuses. Um, but I, you guys know me, I'm pretty open and honest. I'm an open book and I will tell you, uh, I truly just have not felt well. Um, I have never really undergone a major surgery aside from my C-section that I had with my youngest. So that was six and a half years ago. Um, but that has been the only surgery up until this that I've ever had. And so surgery has been... A challenge for me mentally and physically obviously I'm still getting through it physically um, but mentally I think is the part that kind of gets left behind and I will tell you because of that you know being on bed rest and just trying to rest and I, again I'm not the bed rest person either <laughs> I was put on bed rest with the last two pregnancies that I had my son who's now 15 or will be 15, and then my youngest. I was put on bed rest for the last month of each pregnancy um, due to complications, and I was horrible at it then. I'd like to say that I've grown up. I have not. All I can do is lay there and think about the hundreds of things that I literally could be doing at that moment. And that's not good for me because what does that set me up for? It sets me up for failure because when those things don't get done, what do I do? I look like a failure in my eyes okay I feel that 
disappointment in myself. Like I could have done that, but I didn't, and or I couldn't, or what have you, whatever the situation is. Um, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. So. Um, it's not an excuse. It's simply me being honest with you guys and maybe some of you guys can understand that. If you can, I'd love to hear from you if you're willing to talk about it. So put that in the comments down below for me because I'd be curious to hear how you guys have dealt with those things and those feelings if you've had them. Um, you start to feel isolated. You start to feel like, um, just lonely, I guess, for lack of a better term, you know. I work in a corporate office for my job and I'm used to being around people all day long and in meetings and trainings and all of that's been stripped from me for the last couple of weeks and I never thought I'd say I'd miss it, but... <laughs> I guess I miss the interaction more than anything because I love my little miss to pieces. Um, but having conversations with a six and a half year old can get a little trying. Um, again, my husband fills that hole for me, but you know, I'm, being, I'm doing my confessional today. So here's kind of what I've been doing with my business while I've been on medical leave and, and laying down and resting. Um, I have two little office spaces set up, one in my bedroom, which is where um, I like to call the true rest happens, uh, because I can lay down in my bed, um, I've got everything kind of there set up for me on my nightstand, I did all of that right before surgery, because I knew that I would at least be laid up for a little while, not long, but a little while, and so I was trying to prepare as best I could, that was one of the ways. So that did help me. So there's a tip for you if any of you all end up having a surgery or find yourself on medical leave like me. Um, set yourself up. And so that's my first station. And then I have my other station, which is out on the couch <coughs> in my recliner. And over there, I've got, basically I've kind of doubled both stations, right? So I can, I can work from both stations wherever I'm at. Um, my laptop and my Surface and my phone move with me to each location. But I've been trying to catch up on my mailing. So what I've been doing is I've got the laptop up and I will open the, go to my workstation, open the contacts, and I'm just going down that contact list. So. I'm not even paying attention at this point to who's had a party lately and who's not because I consider that my follow-ups, right? And my follow-ups I usually do on Thursday, so I haven't done my follow-ups yet this week. But in the meantime, like I said, I've been opening the contacts tab. I open that and I'm just going down the list one by one by one. I have the postcards from the Cincy Family Store. I've got the ones that say hello. I want to get the other ones. The um, what is it? The thank you and I completely drew a blank. I know that there's like three, maybe even four postcards that they're selling now in the Cincy Family Store. But anyway, mine says hello, very big and bold on the front. Um, so I've been going down. I'll see whoever it is. I'll write them a personalized message. Um, even if, like I said, it's been maybe six months or longer since they've ordered from me, I'm still doing that quick, hello, how are you? Oh my gosh, did you see we've got a brand new catalog? Um, I've got my stamp on the bottom of the postcard, so that way my workstation, or not my workstation, my personal website is listed on there. And I've just been drawing an arrow down to it. Don't forget, you can go check out the catalog here. If you'd like a copy, feel free to let me know and I will send one your way. So again, it's kind of connecting with them on that personal level. We have to remember that we are in a direct selling business. And when it comes to a direct selling business, we have to build those relationships, guys. It's essential to our businesses and keep them going. Nobody wants to feel like a number. Everybody wants to feel like they are 
being talked to personally. And that's my goal with these. So, and that has actually been helpful because that's something that in my, <laughs> I'm laughing because it's like, I want to say in my normal life, because honestly it's true, in my regular everyday Monday through Friday kind of thing, um, that's something that I truly kind of end up losing that piece. You know, I, I end up sometimes losing a lot of the time that would be spent just doing those personalized follow-ups. So this has been good for me to get back into that and get it done. So it was a great opportunity. I'm going to be positive today. I'm really working on being positive today. Um, so it was a really great opportunity for me to spend time to do that. Um, let's see here. What else have I been doing? Oh, um, along with that, I've been trying to clean up my contacts list. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really bad about it. Um, there have been times where whether I'm entering a party order, whether I'm just adding somebody to my contacts, generally, whichever, I have a bad tendency to sometimes duplicate those. So, um, yeah, a little bit of cleanup is going on there. I'm also going through, I've been going through my emails um, and trying to verify that I've been following up on those as best as I can. I still have some that I need to get done. I meant to do them yesterday, but um, yesterday was kind of a, it started out as a fine day, but I ended up having um, a little bit of a bad pain day towards the back end of it. So um, that kind of crashed my plans for that. It happens. So what do we do when stuff like that happens and we don't get to our to-do list? We move it to the next day. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on when I get home after this errand. I'm just going to pick up medication. Um, so yeah, that's mainly what I have been truly like honing in on and focusing on during this time. Um, I'm still doing my social media marketing. Um, I've had a little bit, <laughs> little bit more free time to spend on social media. So a lot of that also has been, uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff on my Pinterest. Um, Pinterest, my Snapchat, my Instagram, and my Facebook fan page for my business. So those are the main mediums that I've been working in just to clean up links. I also went to my bit.ly, B-I-T-L-E. I went to my bit.ly. That's where you can go. It's a website you can go or an app you can use um, to shorten your web links. So for example, the main one that I really use a lot with my bit.ly is my YouTube channel because if any of you guys have ever really paid attention, you know, you get all the numbers and the little digits and blah, blah, blah after your YouTube address. So, um, I shortened that to make it a little easier. So, all in all, it's just been what I like to refer to as more admin work, right? Administrative work, getting in there, getting it done, things that I haven't been able to do, um, that sort of thing. So, we're here! So that's been my life thus far. So here's my confession from the Corolla today. Um, I hope you all have a really great rest of your day. Um, I'm going to continue to be on the mend and hopefully be back to normal <laughs> here very soon. So until next time, peace, love, happiness. Hey guys, so I just wanted to share very quickly, um, I stopped and got my prescription that I had to pick up and then I had to, I didn't have to, but I wanted to get my nails done and so I went in to get my nails done and there was a couple women there and I've seen them before and we've kind of chatted or talked and what have you previously, but um, they knew that I sold Scentsy because I talk about it. Uh, and so 
when I had seen them last. I had told them about the new catalog and all of this. So here's my tip, 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 tip. Remember, I am in my husband's car today, not in my car. And in my car, in my center console, I keep product lists and I keep business cards and I keep all of that stuff, right? Um, I don't keep samples in there because it's hot and wax melts in the heat, but uh, I try and keep what I can. So when I went in today, obviously I wasn't expecting to be doing much of any talking and it was kind of spur of the moment that I went ahead and stopped to get my nails done anyway. Um, but as I was talking to her, she was like, oh, you were telling me last time that the new catalog was coming out. I said, oh yes, it is. She said, you happen to have a catalog. Well, I didn't, I don't have my day bag with me because I'm trying, in fact, I've just got my little like crossbody is what I've been wearing lately because um, I was told not to lift anything. My purse seems to be a little heavy. Uh, so <laughs> I'm wearing my crossbody and so I didn't have uh, even a product list in there. I've got my business card in there. Uh, but I was sitting there waiting for my nails to dry and I was, I was waiting for the nails to dry. It's like, oh, I remember I had told Justin to put some stuff in his car because there's a couple guys at work that he works with and their wives like Cincy and so he tries I, I make sure that he he keeps my business card on him and things like that and uh, so I said wait a minute so I said as soon as my nails are dry let me run out to the car real quick because I think I've got something in there and lo and behold I came out here I lifted his center console I'm telling you my husband's a good guy so uh, he actually had product lists in here he doesn't have a catalog but he does have product lists so I was able to give her a product list and of course you know the product list basically has almost everything in it the catalog does so I felt confident in that of course I told her hey you know next time you're around let me know and I'll definitely have catalogs with me um, if you want the full catalog so there's your tip. Um, if you've got a spouse and if you don't already have stuff in your vehicle, then I highly recommend um, at least putting some product lists, maybe a business card if you don't carry that with you. You know, I'm a girl, I carry a purse, I always have business cards with me. Um, but I, I truly suggest that you make yourself a little car kit. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, whether or not you keep catalogs in there, what have you, like I said, in mine, in my center console, I normally carry product lists, um, at least one catalog, and then I will also put in there um, a join and a host brochure, at least a couple of host and join brochures. Um, you never know. You never know. Um, so I may be out and realizing that I'm talking to somebody about joining and about the opportunity, and obviously I want to give them as much information as I can. So, I, that's why I keep those in there. Um, so my tip for you is, if you've got a spouse, a husband, even if it's a close friend, maybe it's somebody who um, is very supportive of you and your business, go ahead and ask them, hey, you know, hopefully you're at least asking them to give you referrals, but ask them as well. Do you mind if I give you a handful of product lists? Would you just mind keeping these in your car and passing them out if you happen to come across anybody when you're out running errands and they're talking about Sensi or it happens to come up? Um, I'm, you know, with my close friends, I will ask them that. I don't ask outside of my family or my close friends to do that. Um, but I do have some friends that also do some different businesses and things like that and they're always running around town. I've got a girlfriend who is very into um, her church and her church activities and so they are all the time doing stuff. Um, so she is one person that I do ask, you know, hey, would you mind hanging on to this? And if it comes up, if you hear about a vendor event, anything like that, would you please give them one of these and it's of course it's got all my contact info on it um so i don't think that it's too much to ask somebody to do that especially if they're a family member or a close friend simply because they're supporting you guys 
So be sure that you are relying on those close people to help you out and kind of be that extra set of a voice out there for you in the world of Sensi. So kudos to my husband for paying attention and <laughs> for uh, keeping some product lists in here for me. So there's my tip.